Hello, everybody! Everybody say hi, YouTube! Welcome to a card review video. This time, it's an interactive card review like I did last time with Twitch chat. Say hello, Twitch chat. YouTube comment, say hi, Twitch. Twitch chat, say hi, YouTube. Listen, we're fostering a community here. All right. So I have talked about the first two cards already in a video, but a lot more has been revealed since then, and that first video wasn't interactive, so we're gonna start from the top. First of all, Angel of- wait, Archangel of Evocation. We are starting off strong with me not being able to read. Let me just go ahead and check the OBS, make sure that everything's being shown on screen properly. It's a little scuffed, I won't lie. Maybe I can move- oh my god. <laughs> Everything is a disaster. Every day is a new disaster. How about that? That's a lot better. Okay. First card, Archangel of Evocation. 5 play point three five gold neutral ward. Fanfare add 1 to the cost of all non-follower cards in your opponent's hand until the start of your next turn. Evolve. Increase your leader's maximum defense by 5. Restore 5 defense to your leader. I've already talked about what I think of this. I think it's okay and I hope it's a lot better than I think it's going to be. Uh, I just think it's a little bit heavy for the cost, because you need the effect to get the best effect out here. Uh, like I said, I hope it's just way better than I think it's going to be. Cool in Alana, maybe. Helps you prevent OTKs, maybe, because you're above 25 or you're above 20. That's nice, so I like that there's an option for it. I just have my doubts on whether or not it's going to be the huge splash that other people are thinking it's going to be. I hope it is, though. Let's see what chat thinks, and if you guys are new to these interactive card reviews, we have four ratings. Meta, maybe, meme, or vile, or as I like to call it, the five M's. Let's go ahead and vote. What do you think, chat, question mark? Is it a meta, a maybe, a meme, or a vile? I'm curious to hear what chat thinks, okay? There's the poll. I still don't know why it's so small on the screen. It's a little bigger, so we can see it. This is a poll for ants. There you go. And that means you just have to type one, two... Oh! <laughs> I screwed it up. I screwed it up! One, two, three, or four. Lots of maybes. Lots of metas, too. I'm a little bit surprised by that, actually. Ding dong! Oh, the poll is covering the alert. Thank you, underdogs, for the follow. Mostly maybes, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Only 19 people voted? Guys, you literally just have to type a number in the chat. Why are you guys so lazy? That's crazy. What's going on with y'all today? Anyway, yeah, I agree. I think it's a maybe. Listen, okay, chat, you have to promise me that you're not going to vote maybe on everything. Because last time you kept voting maybe on everything, and it was annoying, okay? That's, that's not helpful. But I do agree with this one. It is probably a maybe. Yeah. Not going to spend too long on this, because I did talk about it in another video. Again, you can increase more than 20, which is pretty cool. Next up, Lucille, Keeper of Relics. We all know the effects, we talked about it in the last video, but if we're just going to recap here, 544 Portal Legend, put this thing into your deck. Uh, if you have an allied artifact card that comes into play, this gains the ability to evolve for zero evolution points, and it summons a Radiant, so free storm. No stat gain though. And then this, if at least six, you evolve it, and then it deals six to all enemy followers once. And it also gains plus three, plus three. And it's an artifact, so you can clone it with scan. Pretty cool. What does chat think of Lucille, Keeper of Relics, okay? Vote on your phones now. Again, kind of blazing through this one because we already talked about it, but I do think it's kind of amazing. In my earlier video, I said I don't think this has a place in Unlimited artef Artifacts, but actually, I think it's playable. I think it's actually pretty good in Unlimited Artifacts. As I thought it through a little more, I liked it more and more and more. Lots of ones! Yeah, chat, I agree. We're on the same wavelength today. I like that. I like that. We're on the same wavelength. This is a one! That is a one in the chat. I 
Agree. Oh. More votes. 24. Still mostly ones. We're just gonna call it there. Let's not waste our time. Meta it is, okay? And if you're watching on the YouTube VOD, first of all, hello. Second of all, let me know what your thoughts in the comments are as well. I'd love to know. Okay. Then we have the Lashena leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing. And more cards! Alright, quite a few here. The Sword Legendary Commander. Alaskan Bullworm, 4.44, reduce damage from effects to zero. When an allied officer follower comes into play, gain the ability to evolve for zero evolution points. Why does a... Uh, that's crazy. That is crazy that Sword just gets constant free evolves with amazing stats forever. Also, reduce damage from effects to zero? What do you mean? That seems very vague. You mean for everyone? Just on this follower? Like, to every follower for both sides? Like, I think this is, should be clarified a little bit. I don't really understand what this is saying. Reduce damage from effects to zero, but only on Alyaska or on everything? It's just him, pretty sure. Usually they're more specific, so I'm kind of surprised that this is very vague. Yeah, I agree that it's probably just him, but I don't know why it's so vague this time. Anyway, evolve. Put an Exterminus weapon into your hand and subtract X from its cost. X equals the number of times that allied followers have been evolved to this match. And then Exterminus weapon is an 8 play point. Fanfare destroy two enemy followers. Not random, by the way. Targeted, by the way. See you, Nerea. Last words, deal four damage to the enemy leader. That is amazing. I think this card is actually incredible, okay? It's a good turn four for Sword. Uh, obviously, it's better on not turn four, but it is very, very good as a card. Uh, you get Evolves out the wazoo as Sword anyway. Then you get this for free, which is like clear and burn. Both things Sword likes. Like, are you kidding me? And it can be free as well. And then you can evolve, like, if you do this with Thief, and the Thief evolves and you evolve this, that's already insane. Like, wh what? 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 What a card, dude. What a card. They have a good 4 play point follower, finally. Yeah, they're not gonna play it on 4, but, like, you can even play it on, like, 5. You know what I'm saying? With a Kage or a QB if you're feeling spicy. Uh, but better on six probably with the thief. Yeah, what a what a what a card. I think this card is insane. And why is this not a Machina card? Confirmed it's a Let Golo or a man inside the suit. Because it's not a robot. But god damn. This is an insane card. Let's see what chat thinks. I think it's an easy meta, boys. I think it's an easy meta, okay? You can't convince me otherwise. Alaskan Bullworm, easy meta. Why is it not an officer card? Because he's an absolute boss, that's why. Maybe Smiley Face. Stop voting maybe. Who are you people who come into this chat and just vote maybe for every card? They could print a zero play point, destroy the enemy leader, and somebody in chat will vote maybe. I swear to God. I know you. I know you, chat. You're all crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty hard meta there. Pretty hard meta. That is an insane card. Absolutely bonkers. I agree. Chat, we're on the same page. Next card. Oh god, it's Adamy. He's found his way into rotation. No! Why does it have to be this way? Also, Faye, why do you vote so late every time? Is it your internet? Are you alright? <laughs> you okay? Anyway. Forced Resurrection. Two play point Shadowcraft gold. Destroy a follower. Both players perform reanimate three. 
That's kind of crazy. Uh, I think... Hmm. At first glance, I thought this card would be insane. But, you know, I was thinking about Form Bender, and I was like, eh, that's kind of lame. But this, you get to destroy your own follower even, which is insane. Because you get to summon Jiangxi while killing your Helio. Enemy gets 3 play point value. That is a problem, right? Obviously. So I think this one is okay. Rin, you and me are on the same page. Exactly at the same time we said the exact same thing. I think it's okay. I don't think it's amazing. I think it's only okay. I think it's uh, maybe a, like a mid to low maybe, okay? Any maybes in chat? Any maybe gamers? Yeah, I think it's okay. What do you think, chat? Start the poll. Another maybe. It's only the second maybe of the day. Meme, even! Some people voting meme! Kinda crazy. It's like transforming an opponent's card to three play points. Sadly, it's not even like that. Because some cards are immune to destruction, but not immune to transformation. This card is insane. Interesting, interesting. Some people think it's insane. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Giving the enemy uh, a three cost as well is kind of annoying, though. It's kind of annoying. Especially in a more board-based meta like right now, where you're going wide anyway in a lot of decks. So, I think it's okay. I think it's a Mabes. I think it's an easy Mabes. Lots of people thinking one, two, actually. You need to spreadsheet three drops TBH. It's only good versus Arcane Shop. Yeah, Arcane Shop would be cool with this. That is true. Fuchsia voted in time. Yeah, for once. We got there. <laughs> yeah, there it is. I think it's an easy Mabes, boys. That's a maybe. I think it's broke. Yeah, I'm on the fence, honestly. I'm in between it's broke and it's a maybe. Right now, I'm in it's a maybe category. Ask me tomorrow. I don't know, though. I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried. Uh, about, like, summoning a three cost from my opponent. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Ah, Joe Zizia's card. Eternal... Whale. Yo, hold up. Flame and glass coming back? I don't even think about that. That's crazy. Flame and glass. Yo. There it is, dude. There it is. That might be a good meme. Anyway. Eternal Whale. 6 play point five seven. You can see on the side here. I lean and then... Like my chair in the way. Never mind. But on the side here, you can see I've been mentioned. And I said, OK, Google, play Ocean Man. Because it's true! It is a revival of Island Whale. But this time he's in the sky. 6 play point five seven. Honestly, not bad stats. Especially if you're rum ra 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 ramping into it. I almost said rumping into it, which I don't even know if that's a word. Anyway. When this follower comes into play, deal 2 damage to the enemy leader. When this follower leaves play... Put four one play point eternal whales into your deck. What? Transformation doesn't count as leaving play. So now all we have to hope for is a uh, dragon claw pendant retrain, but it's cheaper, right? <laughs> I think this is hilarious. You can play it with slaughtering to always get your whale, then just start playing one cost whales every turn as long as you have the draw. That's amazing, all right? That is so funny. I love it. I love it, honestly. Alright? Like, you run Draconic Call to pull the whale, then Slaughtering to destroy your deck, then you whale. That's hilarious. Alright? Kind of amazing. And as a 6-5-7, it's not even bad. Alright? So... I think it's a meme... But a good one. It's not a meme like it's worse than a maybe. But it's like a meme and it's a good meme. So I would say meme, chat. I would say meme. Let's see what chat thinks. I think it's hilarious. 
Imagine a deck based around this. Maybe it's not like tier one, but it's good enough to be playable and it is funny. So I think it's a meme. Remember, these aren't strictly one over the other. A meme can be better than a maybe. I don't think a meme can be better than a meta, but a meme can be better than a maybe. A lot of people are thinking meta. I hope you guys are right. I think it would be hilarious if we had a new archetype. Whale Dragon. Finally. The, uh, the... <laughs> it's the... The, uh, Ocean Dragon, Fish Dragon Craft, Fish Craft support we've been waiting for all this time. It wasn't... It wasn't Orcas that was gonna get us there. It was the whale all along. I hope you guys are right. Well, actually, it's literally 50-50. Between meta and maybe. It's kind of crazy. Guys, you gotta make up your mind, okay? Fence sitters. All of you. That's crazy. Okay. I like it, though. I think this card is funny. Alright. Is that it for the Twitter? It is it for the Twitter. Alright. Let's bring up the Discord, okay? Here we are. Because a couple have been revealed. Okay. Okay. That aren't on the Twitter yet. Let's talk about them. Rooney! Resolute Oracle. 2 play point, 1 2 Legendary Runecraft Follower Evo 3 4. Name might be not accurate translation, but I do trust basically the, uh, the effect translation here. Fanfare Spell Boost the cards in your hand. If this card has been spell boosted, at least one time, draw a card. Then, if this card has been spell boosted at least four times, deal three damage to a random enemy follower. Then, if this card has been spell boosted at least seven times, deal three damage to the enemy leader and restore three defense to your leader. Then, <laughs> it's a mouthful of a card. If this card has been spell boosted at least 10 times, put three Rooney Resolute Oracles into your hand. But they're not spell boosted. I think this card is good, man. Two play point, one, two, that spell boosts your hand. That is crazy. That is insane. And then, you have all this other stuff. What the hell is going on? Deal 3 damage to a random enemy follower. Mid, okay? Uh, deal 3 damage to enemy leader and restore 3 defense to your leader. Good, but a bit heavy, okay? Spell boost 10, it's like whatever. But the fact that it's a 2.12 that spell boosts and then has additional upside that actually is good, even if a little bit heavy. I think it's good, man. I think it's good. They're trying to buff Kuon. Kuon coming back. With a vengeance, maybe. But except not vengeance, with a spell boost, I guess. Let's take a look at what chat thinks. I think it's a one, man. It's not like an all-star card that's gonna... Like like a Kuon that the deck is named after. But I think it's a very staple backbone of that deck, you know? It's like the, uh, the foundation upon which it's built upon, okay? I think it's good. I think it's good. Now, is Spell Boost going to be meta? That's a different question, okay? But is the card great? Yes, I think so. I think so, chat. Reminds me too much of Wish Wielder for some reason. It's not really Wish Wielder, though. Wish Wielder just gives you random stuff. Kind of, and it's over, over cost for its stat, right? This one... Seems good. Seems alright. I kinda like it. I kinda like it. Lots of chat is saying one. Some are saying two. I can see either one. I think it's a one, though. I would say it's a one. Good stuff, chat. Thanks for your opinion. Appreciate you. What does YouTube think? Type now in the comments. I'll wait. Thank you. Alright, next card. Temple to Heresy. One play point gold haven craft amulet. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. 
Countdown 9. At the start of your turn, if you have more evolution points than your opponent, subtract one from this amulet's countdown. You have zero evolution points on turns you are unable to evolve. Last words, randomly put a Prince of Darkness or Prince of Kokaitis into your hand and change its cost to one. And if you look at the card art, you will see that they are putting Skullfane and Avatar's, what's it called? Heresy's Avatar back in the game in one card. That's called efficiency. <laughs> I think this card is fun, man. I, th I don't know if it's going to be meta. I think it's good, though. I think it's actually good. I think it's actually pretty good. You can easily, you can easily get this down, okay? If you get it early, it's good, obviously, if you get it on one. You can pull it with Jeweled Brilliance. You can get it out with Griffin. You can, if you get it late, somehow, even with all of these pulls in the deck, you can Imena evolve and then play it, which already subtracts four from it, okay? Buffed Saren can reduce three from it, Okay, Passing of Lore into Healing Prayer is still in the game. Okay, what else do we have? Hallowed Dogma, obviously. So I think you can get a one play point Prince of Darkness or Kokaitis by like turns five, six, seven. All right, kind of crazy. Obviously, you can be unlucky. Obviously, it's not always going to work out. And also, the cards from these aren't exactly... Well, they haven't aged the best, but they're still good if you get them early enough. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, obviously, Silent Rider is not as good as it once was. But it's definitely still okay if you get this down early enough. Maybe it's a bit of a high roller, but I think it's alright. I'm going to say, and I hate to say it, I'm going to say maybe. It's like a hybrid meme and maybe. Maybe not even a meme, but I'm gonna have to say maybe, okay? I know I said I wouldn't be a maybe Andy, but I'm gonna have to say maybe. Let's see what chat thinks. Chat, stop Keck W'ing at maybe. You guys always vote maybe. It's like Keck W'ing at yourself. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> Lots of memes. I can see the skepticism, but I think there's more support for the- Oh! I think there's more support for this card than you might expect. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. But yeah, like I said, I think it's between a meme and a maybe. Yo, people are saying meta! That's crazy. That's crazy. You think it's going to unseat Alana? Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. It is kind of a heavy countdown. It is very long. It is very long. But it's kind of pog at the same time. Next X Pack, maybe. Alright. <laughs> That's fair, actually. That is fair. I will say that is fair. Maybe if they print more amulet stuff, yeah. Anyway, there you go. Chat has spoken! It's a meme! Alright. Now this one literally got revealed one minute before I started recording. So that's exciting. And now we have the effect, okay? Let me just check the reacts. See, there's nothing weird in it. What the hell is this? It's like a dog spitting out a hamburger. The fu- What are you guys reacting to, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll up so you can't see the react. Okay. <laughs> Filene. Absolute zero. Three play point one three. Legendary Dragon Crafts follower, that's right. Fanfare deal one damage to oh. Whoa! Wait, yo! What? That's insane! This is so good! This is so good. What the f- What? 
Oh my god! That's crazy. All we need now is a PDK retrain, and we are back in business. <laughs> but oh my god, this card is crazy. Deal one damage to all enemy followers, put a white frost whisper into your hand. Evolve, you put another one into your hand and change its cost to one? Are you serious? Yo, she's back. She's back and better than ever. Oh my god. As if Dragon needed more clear. I mean, I guess... They kinda did. It was only Plesiosaurus that was carrying them before. But this is insane. Holy crap. <laughs> this is broken! What? Yo, why are you saying sorry, Susan, in the chat? What did you say in chat? You better not have said anything. <laughs> but, oh my god. Okay, wow. What a card to finish on. I almost ended the video without putting the poll up. <laughs> uh, alright. A one, boys. That's a one. That's the easiest one of my life. Holy crap. Let's go, Dragon. Why is Fuchsia so mad? Why do you hate this card so much? I don't get it. <laughs> four, 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 four. You only get one unique vote, man. Yo, this card is insane. It's so good. It's like a it's like a five thousand for one. You play it, destroys one ones. Okay, you, you know shield phalanx. Buy. Okay, you know uh, honorable thief on two. See you. Okay, then you you can play it, kill a big guy, easy. Then you evolve it, run into another thing, kill that one. Then play the other one and kill that one. Literally, it just kills everything. It's a one card kill the whole enemy board. Feels good, man. What a card. Look at that the amount of ones in there. That is the most astounding amount of ones today. Yeah, I agree. What a card. What a return. I knew it was a matter of time before Filene came back because of how popular this card is. But goddamn, what a return. Okay. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, wow. Like it if you did, don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future. What do you think of the cards? Comment below! And of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons. Really appreciate it. See you all next time! Bye bye